Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Caitlin McKegg. I am a real estate broker here in Phoenix, Arizona. Today we are talking about the hot topic of home prices. It's on everyone's mind. What is happening with home values and where have they come from? Where are we at today? So about a month ago, I did a video talking about where home prices were at compared to the peak in May. So I figured let's just do another update. Let's look at those median prices, appreciation. We also have the the uh, new Case Shiller Home Price Index coming at us. So let's take a look at that as well. So let's jump right in. If this is your first time, by the way, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you can keep up to date with everything that I post here. And if you guys want to know more about my life outside of real estate, check out my Instagram at your Phoenix real estate agent. So let's talk about the median home price. We're going to start there and um, move this over. Okay, so median uh, sales price. Right now, we're looking at the monthly median. There's a few different ways to measure this. You can look at the monthly median, you can look at the annual median, or the average dollar per square foot, all of which we're kind of getting the same change from peak to trough. We're at about 9 to 10 percent from May until now. So the median monthly sales price was at 475 in May when the market started to shift. Today, we're at 439, so roughly about 9% um, for this measure. And what I like about this graph is you can see the monthly median going back to 2017. I could even take this all the way back to 2001, but it really shows where our home prices are at as compared to past years. So at 439, we're pretty close to pricing in December of 2021. At 425 and January at 433, we're a little bit closer to January pricing. Um, <clears throat> so thinking back to where homes prices were at, what the market was like in January of 2021 or 2022, that's kind of uh, where we're at today. So this really gives a good visual of that. And you can also see how much our home prices have changed since 2019, um, where 2019, 18, and 17 are all kind of in that same range. The lines don't change all that much year over year. And then we get into um, pretty much July of 2020, 2020 and things just kind of take off. Uh, 2021 was just totally different. And then 2022 started off strong and now we're kind of resetting and correcting. So at this point, May until now, we've had 9% change. We may continue to see more. I know there's people believing that we're going to see 30%, 20, 30%. I hear that a lot. A few people thinking it's going to be 50%. Um, you know, at this point, don't see a whole lot of people wanting to sell their house. Vacancy is what really creates home prices going down. And so we'll see what happens. I know there's a lot to do with the economy, uh, the job market, all of that good stuff, a lot of factors to really consider there. But that's where we're at with our median home prices. Now, if we look at appreciation, kind of the same thing. Let's just look at 2022. It's a pretty rough looking line. We started at 26% annual appreciation. This is based on that monthly um, price, but it's price per square foot. This, this is how Cromford's calculating it. Um, and then uh, now today we're at about 10% annual appreciation, which is still really good. So in a balanced market, appreciation follows the rate of inflation. This is showing that pretty closely. Inflation's pretty high right now. Usually we see inflation around 2 to 3%. So that's usually the appreciation that you get in your home value. Um, now we're sitting at 10%. So still getting a good return. This is definitely going to go down um, because it's not um, it's not reflective of how much change we've had yet in terms of home prices. So about 10% now, if we look at the past years, we were getting at the most 38% annual appreciation, um, which is just crazy to think about. So anyone who bought their home before, what is this, May 2021, saw some huge gains. And even though things have calmed down since, and here we are today at 10%, you still saw such an uptick in your value and things have maybe settled a bit, but you're not 
losing value at this point. Um, we're also looking at 2020. Um, you can see in 2020, we also had um, some pretty massive uh, home price appreciation too. 19%, um, 16%. Um, again, not normal, but here we are today going lower than both of those years. Just for fun, let's look back to these past years. Yep, everything much lower, all kind of in the same range except for 2013. Um, but all of these years, you know, that 3% to about 9% maximum, it looks like in 2019, uh, is what we were seeing in terms of appreciation. So what has been happening in the market with all of these prices going down? Um, everything is slowed down entirely. So we've also seen a big difference in our sales, um, just transaction volume. So uh, again, another really ugly graph to look at. Our sales per month um, totally changed starting... Um, well, it's looking for, for this that it was about March was the last month we had a lot. Then April started to go down, May, and then we had a huge dip in the summer, um, started to come back. But I expect this to go down even further. Um, this is about 6,000 sales per month um, because as we get into the holidays, things are just slower anyway. Uh, in addition to Fed hiking the rate. Um, we've had a lot of resistance because of mortgage rates. So I don't think we'll be seeing much activity on those sales for the rest of the year. Comparing to the last couple years, obviously this is very low now. We were at 10,000 sales per month in 2020 at one point. Um, that was just coming out of lockdowns. Um, so there was certainly a backlog there, I think. Uh, but let's look at past years just for reference to see where these sales numbers have been, even in more normal markets, um, all of them higher than where we're at today. 2014, I believe, was the last balanced market that we had. So let's just look at 2014 compared to this year. And mostly, yeah, so from where we're at today, 2014 was higher in terms of sales volume. This is normal because of um, the holidays. We tend to see that drop off a lot, but uh, we're getting lower than 2014. I think this will continue to go down. Um, so we'll see. So sales per month is definitely affected in terms of transaction volume as well. Now, uh, like I mentioned, the Case Schiller Home Price Index just came out and they look on a national scale of home prices. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to take um, myself off here just because it's going to be uh, probably hard to see everything. So um, this compares the previous um, month with the changes that we have seen month over month. So um, and here are the cities that are making the top 20 Cleveland in the top spot. Um, we're finally starting to see these numbers come down. These had been positive numbers for a long time, and now we're seeing the, the change from the third quarter and uh, this price softening. Phoenix is at number 15. Um, they used to be in the ninth spot. Now they're in 15th place, um, and they were above the national average no longer. Now negative um, 1.07%. So um, again, this is uh, the month over month change. Um, so Phoenix home price is down 2.14%. Um, and then we're looking year over year in this section here. So Phoenix, let's find where you're at, up 17.1% when we look year over year. And this is for third quarter data. Um, so I think this will, you know, obviously be lower when we look at fourth quarter, but everyone is still kind of positive. San Francisco has the least um, amount of gain year over year at 5.6%. Um, but a lot of these still in double digits, which is interesting to see. That just goes to show how much we had, um, how much gain we had to where now we've lost nine to 10%. Um, and we're still looking to be significantly, uh, you know, larger than we were the previous year. The average change nationwide was 13%. Um, so Phoenix is ahead of that measure. 
but it did change from sixth place to seventh place. So um, that is, uh, you know, where we're at today with pricing. Um, I want to know what's your guess. Do you think we'll continue to go down another 10%, another 15, 20%? Leave it in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on pricing. And of course, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. All my contact info is in the description below. I also have some links to check your home value instantly, as well as search my MLS um, and ask for a relocation guide. So if you have any questions outside of that, let me know. If you're curious about your home value, let me know. And I can give you a CMA with some detail on where you were at, where you're at today um, and all that good stuff. So thanks for joining me today on this pricing update. I hope it's helpful and I will see you guys all back on Monday for another market update. Have a great weekend.